The last question, and it's really more important than that one, it, this one was asked by a woman from California, and she says to Buffett, what is your fondest hope for Berkshire? And of course, this means for the long haul when he's gone. What is your fondest hope for Berkshire? And Buffett says that the decent performance and the culture are maintained. The decent performance. This is a guy compounded 20% a year, 45 years, I forget that, 434,000% while the S&P was doing 5,200%, two-thirds from dividends, $18 a share goes to $120,000 a sh share, $18 in the S&P would go to $250 a share. He calls that decent performance. And the culture, he wants the culture to be maintained. Charlie Munger echoes the culture point of view. What Munger says is, I would like to see Berkshire more of an exemplar for other companies. I would like to see Berkshire have more actual influence on other companies. And every time I go back to the meeting, I think about that. I think about this idea that, that these two guys, two of the richest men in the world, run one of the most important public companies. When they are asked what's important in the long haul, it was not Kager, it was not revenue growth, it was not earnings per share growth, it was not the stock price, it was culture. Buffett talks about maintaining it at Berkshire Hathaway. Munger talks about exporting it to other companies. And every time I go back, I think, you know, what, what if the guys at Bear Stearns and Merrill Lynch and Fannie Mae had done what these two guys do? What if they'd written an owner's manual about how they're going to run their business for the long haul? And every year they'd written an annual letter, 20, 25 pages, talking about what went right, what went wrong, um, and then had the nerve to have an annual meeting like this. Five hours, five and a half hours of questions and answer, 50 questions. Anyone who wants to ask a question can get up in front of a microphone without a lawyer standing up and saying, I'm sorry, we're not going to talk about that. Um, I, I've been in this business long enough to know that you can't outlaw human emotion. Uh, you can't outlaw the business cycle. We tend to vacillate between fear and greed on Wall Street. We always have and we always will. But I have to, th and, I, and I also know that even great companies like Berkshire Hathaway and Harley Davidson uh, have their troubles at times. But I have to think that if more people managed their business like this, we would have had a far healthier financial system today. And who knows, even my alma mater, Merrill Lynch, might still be around.